everybody, thanks for swinging by. I really do appreciate it. If this is your first time on the channel, my name is Mark. Welcome to Fit and Fire. Let's get into this video. This time we're going to be talking about the accuracy between my budget rifle, which is a Radical Firearms Upper and an Anderson Lower, and the mid-tier, or I would say probably upper mid-tier rifle, which is going to be the BCM Mark II. What I did was I took both of these rifles out to the range to test their accuracy using the same optic and same type of ammunition, and we're going to be seeing that here in just a second. However, before we get into that, I need to say a special thank you to this video's sponsor, and that is going to be The Mute. If you guys haven't already heard about it, Brandon Herrera did a great video on it. You guys can check that out right here, or I'll have a link to it down in the description below. Unfortunately, since it is a suppressor, I'm not going to be able to give you guys links to anything because of YouTube's policies, but what I can tell you is it is one of the newest polymer plastic style suppressors that are out on the market today and it, it seems as if it's going to be a pretty awesome uh, suppressor for anyone who is interested in picking something up to get for your weapons. Uh, but what is it? it? Well, like I said, it's a plastic suppressor that is going to do a number of different things to include, obviously, sound reduction. It's going to help with recoil and reducing recoil. It's not going to have as much uh, gas blowback as you would find in a lot of other suppressors as well because of their very interesting design on the baffles inside the suppressor itself and finally since it is plastic it's going to dissipate heat a lot faster and diminish mirage as you are shooting it so if you guys are interested like i said check out brandon herrera's video or check out the-mute.com and again thank you to them for sponsoring this video okay so let's get into it like i said we're going to be talking about my budget rifle uh, just so as a quick overview, if you haven't seen my other videos, but you can check them out right here. Uh, the budget rifle here is a Radical Firearms Upper and an Anderson Lower. When I purchased this from Primary Arms, the Upper and Lower cost me about $299. I had to buy a bulk carrier group, a charging handle, and this red dot. Uh, that pushed me to about $390 because I really cheaped out on this rifle and I wanted to see how inexpensive I could go and what that would mean for someone who is doing just this, right? So um, what we did though at the range was I did put the same optic on this as I did with the BCM, uh, didn't use this optic, and then we ran uh, the Frontier 75 grain or 77 grain, I can't remember if it was 75, 77, uh, Hornady hollow point boat tail uh, ammunition through it. So a heavier projectile that's going to be able to stabilize, so I'm trying to extract as much accuracy out of these rifles as possible. So here is the uh, budget rifle, and then of course we have the upper mid-tier rifle, I would say, in the BCM Mark II. This one cost me right around that $1,500 mark. Um, and I don't remember specifically how much. Obviously, again, I didn't use these optics. I used the 1 to 6 by 24 from Primary Arms. And um, this rifle has been phenomenal uh, in what I've done as far as shooting goes for it. The accuracy will be very interesting as well. Um, it really surprised me, to be frankly honest with you. Uh, for a $1,500 rifle, um, I, was, I was really surprised. So with that being said, let's get out to the range and check out what's going on. You'll have to forgive uh, some of my camera work. I had to use my phone for videoing myself as I shot uh, because I had my other camera on the target itself. But uh, let's head out to the range and check things out. Okay, so we got the... Uh... Radical firearms upper with the Anderson lower target at 100 yards. I am using uh, Hornady boat tail hollow point 75 grain uh, ammo from uh, Frontier. So I'm going to use that on this one and then the BCM and see how it uh, turns out. So here, here we go. Uh, primary arms one to six. So let's see what we can do.
Okay, we got the uh, 75 Hornady boat tail hollow point loaded up. Five rounds on the BCM Mark II BFH. Let's see what we can uh, let's see what we can pull out of this one. Okay, so there you have it. Uh, let's start off with the results on the budget rifle. Uh, this came in at a 2.46 inch group, which equates to, according to Ballistic X, 2.35 MOA at 100 yards. And to be frankly honest with you, that really surprised me. Uh, mo mostly because I know my abilities to shoot. I'm an average to above average shooter. I'm not someone that is going to be able to uh, stack rounds on top of each other, regardless of what firearm I pick up. Um, I was I was really surprised at how well this actually did. I was expecting closer to three inches or maybe three and a half or even further up because of how inexpensive it was. But um, with that heavier bullet, uh, this did very, very well as far as the accuracy goes. Now, of course, naturally, I had it set in a Caldwell shooting rest and uh, it's not the best out there but uh, I sure do like it and it does uh, pretty good. Moving on to the BCM, uh, like I said I was surprised uh, about the accuracy on this and I was surprised in a good way. This shot far better than I was expecting with my shooting abilities, like I said, I was expecting more of like 1.5 inches at 100 yards and wow 0.88 inches was amazing. I was really surprised at how well this shot, how well it made me look. <laughs> That's really what it boils down to. So you can really see the difference between the inexpensive rifle and this one right here that you're going to extract so much more accuracy when you are purchasing something that's a little bit higher end. But realistically, that kind of boils down the question to you guys is, is that accuracy enough to justify the extra expense? In my, opinion, in my opinion, I think it is because with that better accuracy, that means that you're going to be getting better quality parts, which means that they're going to last a lot longer. With some of the inexpensive products that are out there, obviously they are cutting corners to bring savings to you guys. So the question really is, is where are they getting that savings? And will the rifle kind of beat itself to death, especially if it's overgassed? So something for you guys to consider, does the extra money equate to a better rifle to you guys? I'm starting to fall into the camp of buy once, cry once. So naturally, you know, me purchasing the BCM, that's going to be my my kind of go-to top tier rifle anytime I need to do something that requires a lot of accuracy. I also have some other rifles that I can use just to kind of beat around, kick around, whatever the case may be. But I will also say for individuals who are just financially strapped and need something right away, you know, a budget rifle is going to do fairly well for you, especially something like this. You're going to extract well under the military requirements, which is four MOA at 100 yards. So 2.46 inches at 100 yards basically two and a half inches, uh, that's pretty good. That's that's really good. That means that you're gonna have a about a two and a half inch deviation uh, in your rounds, depending on how you shoot. So, you know, just keep that in mind. Obviously, the further you go out, 
the larger that deviation is going to go. But realistically, I want to hear what you guys have to say. Sound off in the comment section down below, you know, if if that accuracy is consistent with a lot of the other budget rifles that are out there, is that good enough for you? Or are you the buy once, cry once, get the best quality you possibly can for peace of mind? Sound off in the comment section down below. I wanna hear what you have to say. Well, that being said, we're gonna go ahead and get out of here. Thank you so much for swinging by. I always appreciate it. If you guys haven't already subscribed to the channel, I would ask you guys to consider doing that. Uh, give me a thumbs up and actually your comments help with the algorithm as well. I want to say a huge thank you to The Mute for sponsoring this video. And we are going to get out of here. Oh boy, that was a cool, that was a cool freaking video. And I really did like checking the accuracy on those, but uh, we'll catch you guys next time. As always, freedom through strength. Here comes a high five. Catch you guys later. Bye, y'all.